Vinciatis are all here. Where's the rest of that team foreman? Oh, I'm, I'm all alone today. All alone? Ick, that's just embarrassing. <laughs> that's a shame, because if there's anyone who has some confessing to do, it's that dirty, dirty son of yours. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Is this you taking me? Do you see anyone? <laughs> I love it here, man. The guy up there tells stories. That guy wails on the organ. Sing as loud as you want. It's almost a religious experience. I kind of think this is what heaven's going to be like, you know? Plus, they'll have an open bar. Thanks, man. You should really go to church, Eric. Because God, he sees everything. That's why I live my life good and pure. Counselor, you were dating two girls at the same time. Yeah, but God didn't see that. I was in my van, and he can't see through lead. I don't want to get into a religious argument, but my God can kick your God's ass. God is dead, man. Said so in Time magazine. No, man. I, I sat next to God once on the bus. He told me the meaning of life, and then he gave me a pretzel. So what's the meaning of life, man? Uh, yeah. I guess I should have written it down. But it was a good pretzel, man. Maybe this life doesn't even matter, you know? Maybe we're not even here. Or no, maybe I'm here, but you're not. Hello? You know what the best thing God ever did was? Boobs! <laughs> yes. And God said, let there be boobs. And then there were boobs. <laughs> hey, if God is all powerful, can he make a boob so big that even he can't lift it? Well, that's a good question, man. I'll ask him next time I'm on the bus.